is going on everyone? Welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the MI Gardener channel. I am so excited for today's episode because in today's episode we're going to be giving you guys a tour of the MI Gardener headquarters. Now a lot of you did come out to the grand opening and it was amazing seeing all of you. We had over 500 people show up for that event and it was absolutely amazing. So I thank you guys so much for your support. But for those that couldn't, a lot of you wanted to see the inside of the shop, see what we've been doing over the past six months. And so with that, let's go check it out. All right, check it out. So this, this is the front store area. This is what you will see when you walk into the shop. Now this is for the community to come in and kind of shop. There's definitely some things we can't ship, so they're not listed on our website. But this is kind of the, the aesthetic that Cindy, Mrs. M.I. Gardner has created. I absolutely love it. It is super, super awesome. So you'll see we have uh, kind of our display of our fertilizers over here. We have worm castings, Epsom salt, azomite, trifecta. We have our different um, organic pesticides and uh, fungicides and things like that. Um, just a lot of plants. You'll notice it's kind of an oasis. We wanted to really create that, that feeling of, of calm and bringing the garden inside still while um, maintaining the, you know, the, the aesthetic of a seed shop. Um, you'll see we have lots of like hard goods over here and stuff. Um, other, you know, other garden essentials. So I absolutely love this. This just really invites you in and um, I can't say enough about it. Cindy did an amazing job. She's actually behind the camera right now. Yeah. Um, then coming on in here, uh, what you'll see is the actual seed shop portion of the shop. We have all of our racks listed alphabetically. So um, if you come into the shop, you're gonna see all these beautiful seeds. We have our tomatoes and sunflowers and Swiss chard over here. And then over here we have, uh, over here we actually have um, another table here with some other hard goods, and my gardener stuff, books, our candles, which yeah, if you haven't checked them out, oh my gosh, give them a check out. <laughs> they're actually on our website, but they are phenomenal. Um, and then, uh, and they're actually made locally too. Um, but we have all of our seeds here. So this is kind of our, our seed section of the store. And then when you come in and you start shopping, you bring them over to our checkout counter. Now, this was actually a really cool moment for us to uh, embrace the, the, the history of this building still while bringing it up to the 21st century. So this, this was never intended to be a store. This was always, uh, it started out as a bottling facility for uh, mineral springs. They would take the mineral water and bottle it up. And then it was, a, it was a tackle shop. It was a pet supply store. It was um, everything but a retail facility. And so uh, we actually converted this open bay door into a checkout counter, fully done, and it looks absolutely amazing. Got some hanging plants and stuff here too. So love it, love it, love it. It's a beautiful aesthetic. And then um, we also were able to use this old door. So they actually had a half door here, a saloon style door. And rather than take it down, I said, I want you guys to you know, repurpose and reuse this. So this is kind of our saloon style door that we can access to go to the back, which is the stock room. So the stock room makes up about 90% of the overall square footage of this building. And for those wondering, this building is 8,700 square feet. So it gives us a huge canvas to grow and to expand. Let's go, let's go check it out. All right, so now we are in the stock room portion of the shop. We have lots of different tasks that go on here. Um, here you'll see our hand seed packing station. This is where we actually hand pack our seeds, seeds that are too small, too light, or a low quantity seeds. Those all get done here. So we're really excited to have this space. Just really brings together the community with the seed packing station so that they're not feeling too isolated and stuff like that. So we actually have humans here, not robots, doing the work. So if you guys buy any seeds, every seed that you have bought has either been packed by uh, myself, Aiden, Katie, uh, a few other people that run the seed packing machine, but also humans that actually physically touch every single packet. All right, so now we're just a hop, skip, and a jump away from where we pack seeds. This is our, kind of our overflow hard goods section. So we've got things like trifecta, we've got our, our hard goods and things like that, our smart pots, shovels, nail files, you know, it, you name it, if it comes in a pallet, it's over here now, which is awesome. Um, we've got all of, our, all of our azomite and our worm castings over there as well, um, our revive. So, uh, and also coming on the website, 
I think you just put it on. If you guys are interested in getting smaller bottles of Revive, we just got those. Super stoked about it, but that's not the purpose of this video. So uh, then over here behind me, we have our seed stock room. So this is all of our packets and seed. Over 750 different varieties are represented over here. We have two commercial grade dehumidifiers that you'll see running literally 24 seven, sucking all that moisture out of the air, making sure it stays super dry. We stay at a consistent 35 to 40% humidity year round, which is awesome. Even in the summer, that's pretty incredible. So then coming back here, we actually have the, the, uh, the seed packing machine and the pick line. All right, and so now we are in the seed packing portion. So you saw where we hand pack seeds. This is actually where we machine pack seeds. So this is, allows us to uh, pack seeds a lot faster, a lot more efficiently, and provide the highest quality seed at the lowest possible cost. And so this was actually the first machine that we got, and um, hopefully we're gonna be adding a few more to our line before long. Um, with your support, that'll be possible. But uh, this is actually uh, the first machine that we got, and it's over 100 years old. So uh, things still kicking, and uh, it's uh, kind of what you consider old reliable. So like coming over here, you'll, <laughs> you'll notice we still have, <laughs> So we got some balloons from the grand opening. Uh, this is actually is our kind of our t-shirt section. So we've got all of our t-shirts and our pick line. We also have here, this is where we check orders. So any order that comes in gets double checked to make sure that it's correct. So we try to reduce mistakes and things like that. So we have a nice long check line um, and then also like hard goods and stuff that goes into each order. And then every single order that gets placed for seeds is packed by a human. We, we take a lot of pride in hiring people and providing employment opportunities for the local community. And so we employ almost 20 people. It's an incredible team. It takes a lot of work to do what we do. And, um, and we're very proud of it as well. Um, but every single order that comes in is picked here. So this is our pick line. We'll come through here and uh, this, uh, basically these two shelves are all inventory and then anything below is overflow. So we're really, really proud of this system really reduces back strain and increases efficiency. Because remember, the more efficient we are, the lower the cost we have to operate, meaning the more savings we have to pass on to you guys. All right, so once we get through the pick line, that's where uh, we actually come to the beginning of the pick line. This is the very beginning of the pick line. So what you saw was actually the end, and uh, we're kind of doing it in reverse. But uh, coming through here, uh, we got beautiful Siobhan. She, uh, she actually handles all the customer service. So if you send an email in, she actually is the one, uh, you know, mostly the one that answers those. I try to answer them as much as possible, but you guys sent a lot of messages. So Siobhan and I kind of tackle that, but she's an absolute angel and we appreciate her. So, uh, so she's just doing a lot of the, uh, the restocking of the sleeves so that we can kind of keep a consistent flow. Um, and then over here we have where we ship, uh, we print all our shipping labels and stuff like that another commercial grade dehumidifier to keep that, that humidity low. And then the star of the show, the thing that we're so excited about and so happy about, it seems like a minimal thing, is our mural. So this actually is a mural that was created uh, and, and designed by a local artist um, and kind of just embodies what we believe in here. As you'll see, grow big because we believe in growing big not only in ourselves, but our gardens and our missions and aspirations, everything is bigger at my Gardener. So um, we're super, super excited about it and, uh, and it was a really cool project. So basically, you know, we have stuff that we're still kind of cleaning up from the grand opening, but usually, usually the whole mural is, is visible. And then coming over here, the final thing is we have our kind of our, our employee area team team luncheon area where we can relax, enjoy lunch, break time, things like that. And then um, customer service station. So this is where Siobhan uh, is headquartered. This is where she answers emails, uh, prints some shipping labels when needed and stuff like that. And then, uh, yeah, the luncheon area. So super excited about it. And it's just, it's amazing to see it all come together. Um, there are some internal rooms that are just, you know, stock rooms and things like that cleaning supplies and shipping supplies and stuff like that. Um, our office is in there. Um, kind of the, the admin office is kind of internal as well. That makes up the 8,700 square feet of this building. I can't thank you guys so much for joining us on this mission. And a lot of you know that we're also gonna be adding a greenhouse, a commercial greenhouse. 
Um, that's going to be coming in the fall of this year, um, leading up into the spring of next year. So make sure to follow along for more updates. We'll post, uh, you know, we'll post updates as we have them and we'll encourage you guys to come out and check it out. It's going to be phenomenal once we have that. It's going to be an amazing resource for the community. And so um, thank you guys so much for coming along for this kind of a tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, post them down in the comments box below. And as always, if you want to get any seeds, fertilizer, garden tools, or anything like that, if you want to help support this amazing mission and, uh, and project that we have going on and help support the gardening community, go check out mygardener.com. We have free shipping on seed orders of $12 or more. We ship internationally, and we also have anything else that you need to get your garden going. So as always, this is Luke from the MI Gardener channel reminding you to grow big <laughs> or go home. We'll catch you guys later. See ya. Bye.